In this box is the new Radio Diddy GM30 Pro handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio, not to be confused with the now obsolete GM30 Plus. This is the GM30 Pro, and the price for this new low-cost handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio is $38.99 of monies if you buy the single mono pack. However, if you purchase the two pack then the price plunges to only $38.49 of monies apiece. Affiliate link below. And yes, the Radio Oddity Corporation of Korea did send me this radio at no cost so that I could share it with you, my favorite viewer. So when you purchase the new Radio Oddity, Ra Radio Oddity GM30 Pro, Pro, Handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio in the box, you will receive a user manual. I'm not sure of the exact number of pages because they did not include any burdensome page numbers, but it is written in very good, possibly even perfect English, and it explains all of the operations of the radio just as one would expect. You will receive this worthless earpiece, this USB-A to USB-C's charging wire, this fairly rigid belt clip for affixing the radio to your belt so that you can look more impotent, a very handsome and elegant wrist strap, a charging block, one end connects to the previously mentioned USB-A's charging wire, the other end you stick in the holes that you find along the walls of your home. A handheld speaker mic that you attach one end into the radio, the other end you attach to your collar to really impress the chicks. And unlike most other cheap handheld mics, this one has an earpiece jack hole. So you can plug in an earpiece to look extra cool when you're walking around the mall. You will receive not one, but two antennas, one that is this long and one that is that long. And both antennae are very, very flaccid. You will receive a 2500 miller amp hour battery that comes pre-installed in the radio. The battery also has a USB-C's hole for charging as well as a battery charge indicator LED. And just to be clear, if you purchase the two-pack of radios, you will get two of everything. Two radios, two sets of antennae, two batteries, two of everything, except for this, the programming cable. You only get one programming cable. And you will receive the new Radio Oddity GM30 Pro handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio. As mentioned, the battery comes pre-installed, but when you remove the battery, it springs up and very easily pops out. Meaning that you do not have to tear off a fingernail trying to extract it, and that is because instead of cheap plastic clips to hold the battery in place, it has this hold-down screw. And the hold-down screw does not fall out and run under the refrigerator the instant you remove the battery. On the top of the radio, you will find an on, off, and volume control knob, a flashlight, a transmit and receive LED indicator, and a hole for the antenna. That is a standard SMA male hole. On the side, you will find a button for the previously mentioned flashlight, the push to talk trigger, and a programmable button. And on this side, behind this magic door, you will find a hole for the programming cable or the previously mentioned hand mic or other accessories. And you can tell that it's the Pro because the Plus version is only available in this shade of black. Whereas the new Pro comes in this new color. They call it woke hair. Other than that, they look exactly the same other than the stickers, which as you can see are different, but on the inside, they are very different. I will discuss that more momentarily. Channel mode. The radio features a very masculine and very sexy voice. And speaking of sexy, 
This is not a superheterodyne type radio. This is an SOC or system on a chip type radio, also known by us radio experts as a homodyne, homodyne type radio. Thankfully, in today's world, most normal people will accept this type of a radio into their lives without any hesitation and will find that they are perfectly happy with them and they may even prefer them. However, some people talk bad about the homodynes and will even spread lies and do anything they can in an effort to hide their own deep-seated and latent fear of this type of lower-cost radios. This is a GMRS radio, so it can transmit only on the GMRS channels, but it can also receive a very wide range of other frequencies, such as commercial FM, airband, UHF, VHF, 1.25 hams, meters, 70 semen eaters, and the NOAA weather channels. And the radio has 1,000 custom channel slots to store all of those frequencies in. The radio can scan through both channels and frequency ranges that you can set, and this radio can do tone scanning, meaning that it can search for CTCSS or DTC or DCS tones in use on a frequency. This could be very helpful, for example, if you're trying to figure out what tones a repeater is using because the owner refuses to tell you. As long as the radio can hear the signal on the channel you are on, it can tell you what tone is in use on that frequency. Now, at this point, you are no doubt asking yourself, but what if I don't know what tone or what frequency a radio is using? For example, what if one of your stupid friends has a radio but has no idea what frequency or tones his radio is using? Well, fear not, because this radio can also operate as a frequency scanner. Just have your stupid friend stand near this radio and transmit from his radio, and the GM Pro will tell you what frequency your stupid friend's radio is using, as well as any tones in use. Thusly. As I mentioned only a moment ago, the other radio has to be close by and the signal has to be strong, so it only works for up to about 20 yards away. The radio has a full color 1.7... I'm sorry. I don't do this very often because so many viewers just can't handle it. But I'm going to do it anyway. Anyway, as I was saying, the screen has 1.7 inches of size and is full color, but the colors are not customizable, and the screen works adequately well in bright, direct sunlight. It's not the best, but in direct sunlight, it is mostly usable. The radio can monitor and listen to two channels at the same time, although I currently have that option disabled because I am just a simple boy and listening to two things at once always causes me trouble, like when I'm trying to listen to my wife when I'm watching TV. As I mentioned only a moment ago, this button is programmable and it can be programmed to function as a second talk trigger should you choose to do so. The big trigger is always for whatever channel is on the top line of the screen, and the second trigger would be for whatever channel is on the bottom line of the screen, should you choose to program the button to do that. You can also program the button to do a few other things, again, should you choose to do so. You know what those ugly fat ladies always say, your radio, your choice. Because this is a GMRS radio, like all GMRS radios, it comes pre-programmed with all of these standard 22 GMRS channels, so you can use this radio right out of the box. Just turn it on, pick a channel, gently squeeze the talk trigger, and talk. And if you want to get fancy, you can do pretty much all programming right on the radio itself, using the keypad. You can add repeaters and custom channels, pretty much everything, so no software is required to use this radio. However, if you are a real fancy pants, you can optionally use the previously mentioned programming cable and free programming software, which runs only on the Windows, to program the radio. 
The software is very basic as far as radio programming softwares goes. Some might even describe it as bare bones, but it gets the job done. And it also lets you do a few things that you cannot do directly on the radio itself, such as uploading an image that you can set to briefly display on the screen when the radio first turns on. Thusly. But there does not seem to be any way to set how long your image appears, and as you just saw, it does not appear for very long. But what if you hate Windows, and instead you use a real computer? If, like most individuals with a high IQ and a very low threshold for time wasting, you run a Linux or a Mac, fear not, because you can also use your phone to program the radio wirelessly. To program this radio with your phone, the user manual says to go to your favorite app store and download the Radio Frequency Programmer app. Then enable Bluetooth on the radio by selecting Wireless CPS from the menu. Then just open the app on your phone, figure out how to use the app, and bam! You can then program your radio wirelessly using your phone. And no, you do not need to create any kind of account or sign into anything just to program the radio. If you read the Amazon page about programming the radio from your phone, it will tell you to go and download the Walkie Talkie Tool app, which you can also use to program the radio. I will not get into the vagaries of which one is better because they're both from China. And please, for the love of baby Zenu in his crib, if you do not trust this company or the Chicoms in general, do not. Do not leave a stupid comment proclaiming that you would never buy anything or download an app from China. Because, number one, why would you even come to watch this video? And obviously, most importantly, nobody cares. And yes, just like all quality radios, this radio does have a Roger beep. But wait, there's more. This radio also has a fake MDC tone, so you can sound like one of the big boys with a much more expensive radio. The radio also does more stuff, but I don't care about any of that. As I mentioned only moments ago, this radio comes with two very flaccid antennas that function pretty much the same. But just to see whether or not I know what I'm talking about, I used both antennas to call my friend Conrad the chef on his base station at his house 13 miles away to see just how much difference there was between the small flaccid antenna and the bigger flaccid antenna, and this is what they sounded like. And to be clear, this does not mean that you won't notice any difference in your Pacific use case scenario and in your Pacific geographic situation. It just means that you probably won't. And if you do notice any difference at all, it probably will not be a huge difference. But as always, your FARs will vary. And now a word about power. The box does not say anything about how much power this radio outputs. And just to be clear, the antenna actually has more impact on your FARs than the power will. But let's just see what we're dealing with here. And as you can see on GMRS channel 16, this radio outputs just under four watts of RF electricities. But as you just heard with your very own ear holes, just like all other GMRS radios, I was able to talk to my friend Conrad, the chef, at his house 13 miles away, loud and clear. So if you are looking for a good value in a handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio to enhance your radio dork lifestyle, then this radio might be the radio for you. Thank you for your attention to this matter. <laughs>